Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. <laughs> like when I say a while, it's been a while. Um, I was just gonna look, but I think it's been probably about a month since I have gone and actually filmed a video and been able to put it up. I can't say film the video because I did process and film one, but it just didn't um, for some reason go anywhere. <laughs> So it was a little weird for me, but I finally got the opportunity to go ahead and film a little bit of a video and I have two mini hauls. Um, first one being from Sephora and my second one being from Samsung. So drastically opposites, but I just wanted to get these done for you guys. So stick tuned and we'll see what we can do. Okay, so we're going to start with Sephora, I think, because I just feel like Sephora sounds like a good place to start. So um, I placed an order with Sephora because I randomly got a gift card and I was like, you know what? I want to spend it right away just because I had placed an order before. I'm not going to do a haul on that one because it was just stuff that I've shown you guys before in videos that I just ended up having to reorder and um, fix a few things with and get new products and stuff like that. So, okay. So the first thing that I ordered from Sephora um, was this little nice little palette that I had gotten. I love the packaging on this. You guys can't see, but it actually does depress down and it's got like a nice cushy feel to it um, the packaging is really pretty so it's this it's like a rosy gold color and it flips open right there and then flips open to the top so the reason that I ordered this palette a was the price point was perfect on it it was a $15 gift I was thinking about giving it to someone else and I ended up not needing to because they wanted something else for Christmas but I haven't gotten to play with it yet that's the only downfall um, I literally just got this in the mail yesterday, and I was like, you know what? Let's do this. So it does come with a nice little brush, a double-ended angle, and fluffy brush. They're pretty soft, too. Not bad. Um, and then you do also get a eyeliner in the bottom, too. I'm not a huge fan of the Sephora eyeliner, but I'll probably keep it. You never know when you need a spare. Um, so... <coughs> These are the color selections that came with it. And I'm throwing stuff. So these are just some really pretty color options that were available. And I fell in love with the whole reason that I bought this package was for this color right here solely. This blue. Because I don't have a color like it. And I don't have a color like this purple that's next to it as well either. It looks really taupey. Sorry, my camera's off angle down here. It looks really taupey, but it is so pretty um, once I get the opportunity to actually play with this palette I will get you guys a full review on it as well as maybe a look out of it too these colors are speaking to me for some really pretty holiday ideas um, but for a $15 price point I would say it's a great gift idea to get somebody um, who's a really hard to shop for but you know that they like these kind of things um, and the packaging is just so pretty it's like a little purse but it's not it's <laughs> so you know I so far overall packaging wise price point and everything like that, I would say it was a good buy. You know, a good one. I'll just tell you if I like it or not. How's that sound? But the next product that I did purchase was the uh, Sephora Brow Pencil, and I purchased mine in the color Rich Chestnut. It's difficult to purchase these online without seeing them in store, and I was a little nervous about that, so I was like, oh god, this isn't going to be good, this isn't going to turn out good, this isn't going to work for me. Pleasantly surprised. I was actually happy. Um, I had used a few drugstore ones before and they were pretty nice, but I mean, it's just, of course, a little retractable pencil that comes with on this end. On the opposite end, you get your little brush. Um, I will say, not a fan of this little brush. It's actually like prickly. It's not like a normal, um, you know, the word I'm looking for <laughs> but you guys know what I'm talking about but um, it's not a bad product I would say for the price point it's half the price of the Anastasia Beverly Hills along with um, I think Urban Decay's as well was the same price point but these were only like $13 and I was like you know what we gonna try it we gonna see if we like it because I have to go shopping and I'm gonna be stopping at Sephora anyways so I'll probably have another haul hopefully for you guys sometime soon no I don't just go shopping all the time it's just it's Christmas time I'm gonna be going to the mall and if I go to the mall, I stop at Sephora. So, so far, so good. To show on camera. But I purchased the... <laughs> the next one is the surprising one. Oh, what fun! <laughs> so with my order, I had a discount coupon code for a free holiday sample bag. So I was like, all right, you know what? I'll give. I'll do it. 
we'll see what happens. So I was pleasantly surprised. I didn't I didn't choose the three free samples that came with my Sephora order because I saved those up for when I can go in store because they just give you all of them then. Um, ooh, I'm moving stuff. Sorry, guys. Okay, so we're just going to dig right into this bag, and we're going to see what's in there. It's got a little tag on the edge. I just haven't cut it off yet. So the first thing I'm pulling out is, ooh, the Honey Eye Mask. So this was in my little grab bag. This is from actual Sephora. Um, it's a fiber eye mask. Looks like you get a one-time trial in here, yep. Um... Here we go. <laughs> Inspired by Asian beauty rituals, Sephora has created these eye masks in the form of fiber patches with specific formulas offering solutions for every skin type. It works and offers instant relief for this sensitive zone, nourishes and soothes fine, delicate skin around the eyes, and for velvety, soft, replenished, and balanced eye contour skin. So yeah, they're little patches you put underneath your eyes to hopefully make dark circles go away. That's what I'm assuming. But you know, what do I know? I'm only going to try it. This is my first time. The next one, next one is from Murad. This is <coughs> the Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture. Looks like it must be like a lotion. I'm going to pull up the package in here really quick. So yeah, it's just like a little gel container. Open though. Mm, it's got that... Fresh lotion smell, which I love. So I guess we're gonna let's try a tiny bit on the back right here. Ooh, very smooth. Like feels like butter, butter, butter. But we're gonna try that out because I'm liking this. Hydrodynamic. That's got a lot of like moisture. That tiny bit I tapped on my finger is like a lot. Let's see what it tells us. It doesn't tell you. It just says it locks in moisture for eight hours. So I guess I get eight hours of moisture lock. So we'll see what happens at that point. Let's go next to the bag. I'm trying to grab out the bigger things at first, too, just so I'm done. Um, the next piece is a Lancome piece. It looks like a foundation tester. Yeah, I already have this foundation, the Ultra 24 Hour. I believe I am a... Ooh, I'd have to go back and check my bottle, but I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm in the ivories. In the early stages of ivories but yeah you do get three different in here so you do get three different options for testers right here it looks like just like enough for one application but hey if you're testing it you don't need to do multiples so pretty good from Lancome I like that foundation the 24 hour um, it's really smooth and really soft and it feels really good on your face so um, the next one is YSL and it looks like we are getting testers of I'm not really positive. What are these? These must be like concealers. <laughs> that was like a long break for me, like crickets. But it comes in this little piece, and then you get three different shades here. You have the light, medium, and deep shades. But I guess we'll try it out. YSL here is a pretty good brand, so we're gonna test it out, and see what happens. Next thing is, oh, I dropped something. I got it. Don't worry. So the next thing that I had gotten in here was the Fresh Rose Face Mask. Rose of Prism Beauty, blah, blah. Hydrates, tones, and the complexion promotes radiance, suppulence, suppleness, not suppulence, <laughs> and then soothes the skin. So I like Rose, so definitely trying that shit out. Hold on that thought. Okay, so the next thing that I've gotten in this is the Ultimate or Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty, um, Intense Hydration for Dry Parched Skin. Just a nice little packet. I've used their stuff before. It's really nice, actually. So if you guys are looking for something for intense and moisture, the wood up. <laughs> Let's see. Next one is from Sephora. It is a blush. I'm not a blush person, so not too excited. But you never know. I have really rosy cheeks naturally, so for me, a blush is really hard to want to use. Um, the next thing that I got was the Burberry Fresh Glow Base, Fluid Base. Pretty excited about this one, because I was actually debating about buying this one. So I want to try it definitely before I actually go out and spend the money on Burberry. So, well, we only have a couple things left in the bag. There's only, I think, one or two. Um, so then... 
Oh, I got two of these, so we're down to one thing. Fab these. I got two of the fab things. Ooh, this is pretty. So <laughs> the last thing out of the bag is a Sephora colored eyeshadow, and this is in the color Paraco Punch. But look at that. Like, oh, look at it. It like, matches my shirt. See? You can't even see it now. <laughs> kind of excited, so I'm just going to... Ooh, that's like a lot of glitter. Like a lot of glitter. I don't know if I like that. I guess. We'll try it out. We'll see. I'll let y'all know. You know. Okay, so the next thing that I got, like I said, I'm going to be doing a Samsung haul. I A, made a purchase, and B, got some free stuff from Samsung. Um, not any way, shape, or form was it sent to me for free or anything like that. Um, I had upgraded my phone to the Note 5, which... If you guys are looking at it, you'll like it. Just go with the bigger memory. It makes a lot more sense. Um, and when I bought my phone, that there was a promotion going on through Samsung. If you registered a couple things, you got a great little holiday bundle. And um, there was two different options for the holiday bundles. Um, options were a wireless charging pad, a fast charge portable battery pack. So that came in either or. But then your big holiday bundle piece was you could either get the Swarovski crystal cover or the level one wired headphones. I went with the case. I wanted something that sparkled. So <laughs> the first thing you get is the battery pack. Um, these are just nice. I mean, I work in the cell phone industry, so I understand that these are a price point that people don't normally want to spend. But when you're attached to your charger all day, it's no bueno. No bueno. Sorry. And I don't like opening packaging. Especially when I haven't opened it yet. Like you guys are opening this with me because I hadn't done it yet. Ooh, that's a big battery pack. Like, that's the battery pack itself. So, like, looking at it, it's, like, the same size as my phone. Like, that's big. Oh, this is my bitchin' case. If you guys are interested in looking for some really cool cases for your phones and a great price point, you can go to um, Case Persona. I will link it down below if you guys need it. But Case Persona, they were, like, $12.99 with shipping. I don't know. I just heard some random, like, pounding noises. Um, but this is from Case Persona back on child product. Um, so I'm going to basically charge this once and it'll tell me, right now it's got two battery charges onto it. You can see the little dots. Um, but I guess, hey, whatever, I got it for free. I'm not going to complain, right? I put things back in their package until I actually go to use them the first time. So I know how to use a battery pack. I'm not retarded. Samsung, thanks for directions, but you know. Samsung. So the next thing that came in the package, like I said, was the wireless charging pad. How much fudge do I open this thing? Samsung, your packaging is difficult. Oh, they just did it that way. So this is the wireless charging pad. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these before, but they're really nifty. Um, literally, when you go to charge your phone, you're just going to set your phone on it, and boom, done. Phone charges. Um, they work for a different variety of phones. Um, if you guys want me to start talking phone stuff, please let me know, because I, I can bore you all day with phone stuff. Um, <clears throat> Working for a cell phone store, I have to know quite a bit about different cell phones, but wireless charging available for Samsung 6, 6 Edge, as well as the Note 5, um, 6 Edge Plus, Motorola Droid Turbo, Turbo 2, Kyocera Brigadier, and the LG devices. The last thing I got in the package, though, is what excites me the most, because I hope you guys are as excited about it as I am. Do you see the sparkle? The sparkle. All right, so this is from Swarovski. I can never say it right. Swarovski, Swarovski. But it is this bedazzled Swarovski crystal case that Samsung was giving away for free, and I was like, you're coming home with me. So I'm actually going to pop it on, see if you can see what it looks like on the phone. Um, it's just literally like a really slim cover. There's no protection offered with this at all, like nothing. Like it just literally goes on there. And then look at <laughs> so, you know, this is just really something pretty. I don't know how realistically, like, how much Swarovski was really going to give away with these cases, just for the reason being, I mean, come on, they're not cheap. Like, I'm pretty sure I looked at this um, exact phone case on their website, on the Samsung website, and they retail for over, well over $100. They came out with purple and black as well, too, for some new color options that they did out there. And, um... They're gorgeous. They're beautiful phone cases. You guys saw the sparkle. So if you're looking for something sparkly for yourself, for your phone, and you have a Samsung, get one. They're expensive, but get one because they're gorgeous. So, um, 
price point, oh, if you guys are interested, <clears throat> price point for the wireless chargers, in my store they retail for $49. I'm sure you can find them online or in other stores for less expensive pricing, but Samsung ones, these are the way to go. You can get a couple of brands called Falcon and um, I believe Moshi is another pack that you can get from. They're both great. Don't worry about them. They're great. The price points are going to be very similar, but if, my thought is if you're going to get one, go with Samsung. Um, portable battery packs, I don't sell this exact one in my store, but you can get the rechargeable packs. Ours start for something this size, about $79. So this whole package was, I figure, 200 to, it was labeled as $300 worth of accessories. So $300 worth of accessories from Samsung. Thanks, guys. All right. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for tuning in. I will definitely try and get some reviews up for you guys, as well as other some far, ugh, some other fun products that are available for you. Like I said, if you want me to start talking phones, technology, anything like that, please let me know in those comments below. Um, I'm also trying a new editing software, so let me know how this turns out for you guys. Um, I will definitely try getting into the groove of filming again, since now I have a little bit more free time that my, my schedule is warming up again to allowing me to be able to do things. So if you guys are interested in letting me know what you thought of my haul, please do. Um, if you have any reviews on any products that I showed that you guys are like, hey, love it, or hey, stay the hell away let me know um i will probably be doing a movie review video pretty soon here i got a couple good ones that came out um the reason i didn't do that today is because i'm waiting to watch minions even though i've already seen it um i will have a minions one up as well too so just letting you know you guys know and i appreciate you stopping in thanks again for coming in guys you know go ahead subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up that way i know that you guys are appreciating what i'm doing thanks so much have a good one bye